Welcome to the Mill Surf Mike channel. I was unable to get the CZ pistol video that I was working on done, so I want to talk about another subject here that, as Mill Surf collectors, we need to be uh, kind of on a little bit. Unfortunately, it took me a little bit longer than most to figure this out because I didn't really start buying books until about five years ago. But no matter what you collect, either guns, uh, uniforms, helmets, canteens, whatever, uh, make sure you're buying books on those various subjects and it'll help you to be a little more well-rounded and a little more informed on them. Now, um, I'm going to get into... I'm thinking about getting some replica footlocks here pretty soon. Uh, either uh, Charleville, Brown Bass, or both. So I just started getting a few books on that. I just received that these weeks. Uh, these little um, Osprey books, they're actually very... They're actually nice, good overviews of whatever subject they are they cover. I have an Air Sock, I have one on the Grand, I have one on the AK. Um, you know, if you're looking for depth, it gets frustrating, but it's a good, you know, can, canopy over uh, overview of what you're looking at. So I got a uh, British small arms, you know, early on. So this is basically going to cover the brown best. Uh, basically through, um, you know, the Seven Years War, the, the uh, American Revolution, the... Napoleonic Wars. So, the, you know, this is a good book to have for the Brown Bess. And, of course, for the other side, I got the French. So I can learn about the Charleville a little bit. Like I said, the uh, you know, most of the Americans in the American Revolution used the Charleville. So that's something I've kind of wanted to have. And it'll help me kind of complete my American history collection. Of course, the big one I got this week was the Ian McCollum uh, Pistols of the Warlords. You know, I got the purple version with, you know, upside down and, you know, kind of the weird uh, writing and stuff that, you know, he joked around a little bit and got the signed copy. And then, of course, uh, part of that is he also did a reprint of the Arming of the Dragon by uh, Dolph Goldsmith, so I look forward to reading that. And with this, you know, you get a, Ian always sends out a page with the cocktails on it, but uh, most of the cocktails involve gin and sugar and I'm not a big fan of gin. It just tastes like licking a pine tree. Um, although, I guess I've never done that. But I imagine that's what it tastes like. You get the sticker. And then um, this map of kind of Warlord era China. Uh, one thing that's kind of interested in me is this uh, Taiwan arsenal in Shaanxi province. I, uh, I did a video a long time ago on my, I have a Type 38 Arasaka that was actually made in China in the early 30s. And this is where it was made, at this arsenal in Shanxi. And that's kind of what, when he actually said that he was doing this book, that was one of the reasons I ordered it. Because even though, you know, this is mainly on the pistols, it'll still talk about some of these warlords. Uh, Warlord China, era China is just kind of nuts. Like, they would turn on each other and become friends. You know, it's almost, you know, it's like face and heel turns worse than a, uh, you know, poorly written WWE character, I think is what I said in the video. But, you know, it's hard to follow that around. So I look forward to, you know, opening these up and reading these and especially, you know, this Arming the Dragon. So anyway, um, again, if whatever you're collecting, make sure you're getting books to learn more about that. Uh, you know, a lot of times the internet isn't the best place, uh, you know, especially Wikipedia Death Knowledge. And that's kind of what my channel was for a long time. But, you know, I think, you know, I was able to get more information out there once I started getting good books. So if uh, you want to see uh, a couple more books that I got and other things that I got at the Missouri Valley Show this summer, click over there. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.